When you look at history, uh, you find easily that there were great floods, you know, described in the Bible, that you have terrible, terrible quakes, uh, such as the Santorini Island explosion. You had uh, the Vesuvio explosion in Pompeii that was absolutely uh, destroyed by such an event. You had uh, the San Francisco quake, you know, in uh, 1906. You had the Lisbon quake in 1755. You had the great Cantu quake in Japan in 1923. So I, I can stop here. You have hurricanes, you have floods, you have quakes, volcanic eruptions, landslide. And so you said, how can you absorb it? History shows that those happen. So, and we're sure that in the future we will have similar events. We are going to have incredible typhoons, incredible uh, tornadoes or cyclones. You know, that's that's a fact of life. We're going to have storms uh, in Europe, or whatever. And so the question is, you know, so are you ready to face those big events? How can you, you know, sleep at night when you believe that everything is going to happen? Yes, everything is going to happen. We are going to have meteorite falling in part of the earth, and so on, and so on, and so on. But when you look at history, it never happens the same year, never, uh, because those events are extremely rare. They happen once every 200 years, 300 years, 1,000 years. And therefore, you know, when it happens, the probability for that to happen at the same time with another big event is relatively weak. And look at history, when you have a big quake in Tokyo, we don't have a big storm or a big typhoon or a big uh, cyclone hurricane in the US. So that's a fact of life. And so reinsurers, what they do is they diversify the portfolio of risk in such a way is, you know, to compensate the large loss that you have today with no losses on other lines of business or in other geographies. Diversification is key, diversification by region of the world, I mean by continent of the world, diversification by the type of risk, and especially try to avoid to have too many correlations between those risks. And as you know, there is no correlation between a big, big, big quake in Japan or in New Zealand, and uh, a big hurricane in the US, there is no correlation. And since they don't happen at the same time, we can carry those two risks. And so the only bet, if we can talk about a bet for reinsurers, is that yes, everything is going to happen never at the same time. If you take the five largest risks that a reinsurer carries in his balance sheet today, I have mentioned them, I am not going to repeat them, let the five largest historical event. And you look at a one over 200 return period. So we believe that you take the worst event one out of 200 years. And you have five events. They are not correlated. And so the probability for those five events to happen the same year is one over 200 times five. You compute, you reach about one out of 4.5 billion. And the Earth uh, duration is 4.5 billion, which means that the five worst events, the probability for those events to happen the same year, uh, <laughs> one out of 4.5 billion, you know, you see that the bet is realistic and that's why ranchers have been able to absorb those shocks because they never happen at the same time. Mm -hmm.